Good morning, it is Wednesday today and I thought I would start a new vlog because I keep meaning to do a weekly vlog. Um, it's something I said at the beginning of the year that I was going to do every week and since then I think I've done about two or maybe three. Oh, there's a delivery. There's a delivery, there's always bloody deliveries. Hopefully Lou will answer the door. Um, I've, I've actually got a few packages that I think will be coming today so I will open them when they arrive and show you what I've ordered. Um, I've got a few bits coming from ASOS, so I might kind of film a little bit of a mini haul and um, yeah, a few other packages. So I will show you those when they arrive. Um, I'm gonna be heading out with my mum this afternoon because I need to shoot a few outfits for Instagram. I've got a few looks that I need to photograph. So I think we might head over to Arundel because it's only about 10 minutes away and it's so pretty over there. I also want to shoot some landscape pictures as well for my new website. I mentioned in a previous video that I have finally got round to starting a blog. Um, it's not live yet, but I will let you know when it is live, but I have been working with Squarespace to create my new website and they have actually sponsored this video. So I have got a discount code for Squarespace if you are looking to start a new blog or a website, um, then I will tell you a little bit more about that later on in the video. I am absolutely boiling sitting here, so I'm gonna take, I've got like the biggest, chunkiest cardigan on and Lou has put the heating on full throttle this morning and it's so hot in here. So I think I'm gonna go and get changed and plan some of the outfits that I want to photograph. So I'll show you, I'll show you a few of the outfits I've got that I want to photograph. I've just realised I've been rabbiting away in there and I've got mascara all under my eye and down my face so sorry about that, I will sort that out before I go out and do pictures um, and I also need to zhuzh my hair up a little bit um, but yeah I might even try and get a picture in this cardigan today because although it looks casual like this I feel like maybe it might look really nice with some jeans and some ankle boots or something um, and it is a recent one, a recent purchase from ASOS so I will leave it linked below. It's just a really gorgeous, chunky cardigan. Um, and I also think maybe in the summer it might be quite nice with denim shorts. But anyway, I am gonna go and have a little look through my rail and pick out a few bits to photograph. Okay, so this is a rail of some of the items that I featured in recent videos. Um, obviously I did a blazer video, I'm not keeping all of these. A lot of them still need to be sent back. But I also have some bits from a Nasty Gal video that I did, well, it's going up today, which is Wednesday, so if you haven't seen it yet, then I'll leave it linked below, but a few of these pieces are from that one, and I also need to do an Instagram picture for them, so I might, I might use this, like, shirt jacket, because I love that, and it's so, it's that lovely sort of soft fabric, so I might shoot that with some leather trousers, or maybe this chunky coat, because that's gorgeous as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pick out a couple of those bits and then I also want to photograph this blazer again because I love it. And yeah, I'm, I'll have a little look. I'll lay some outfits out and see. Okay, so this is the first outfit that I've put together. Well, I say put together, it was a pair of trousers and a shirt. <laughs> Not the most creative I've ever done. Um, but I've got these are the leather trousers from Nasty Gal. They were in my video that's going up today. Um, they are real leather and they, they look a bit weird off, but when they're on, they look really nice. And I'm gonna just fold them up at the bottom. And then obviously this is the shirt I showed you a minute ago. This is the, this is also from Nasty Girl as well. Um, and I think I'm gonna wear it with the black t-shirt I've got on now and either black ankle boots or just some trainers, keeping it quite simple. Okay, this is the next outfit that I want to photograph. Um, I've got my All Saints leather jacket, which has got some paint splatters on it. I am blaming Lou, but he thinks it was me. Um, but it just needs, I think hopefully it's water-based, so hopefully it should just wipe off. <laughs> but I was not too pleased when I noticed that. Um, so I've got leather jacket, and then this dress is from Topshop. I will leave it linked below, but it's just gorgeous. And I am just gonna start with some trainers, I think. I've already put a picture on my Instagram of this outfit with trainers. So maybe I'll put it on with some boots, but I don't know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and then the next outfit that I think I'm gonna photograph is just this checked blazer with probably a black roll neck underneath rather than a black t-shirt 
and then my good old black leather look trousers and some black ankle boots I think because that's just a really simple easy outfit and I really like this blazer um, and I'll probably put on some chunky gold earrings with this as well and maybe another necklace just to give it a little bit of something extra um, so that's outfit three I think I want to do five in total <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. Do you like, does it fit you all right? Well, no, of course it doesn't fit me all right. Look, I can't do the zip up, but I do like it. It really suits you. So soft and warm, isn't it? <laughs> Anything else you want to try on from the I rail? <laughs> Mum's just got here and has gone straight to my little rail and decided she wants to trying a few clothes. <laughs> Straight to the nasty gal coat. Very nice blazer, Charlotte. <laughs> too small. Oh, I like that. That's nice, isn't it? Let's have a look. I mean, it's too... Oh yeah, it does look nice on you. Yeah. It's too small for me, obviously, but I'll, I'll try not to... Looks really nice. I could do get myself. Yeah, I told you you should get a nice blazer. They just make outfits look smart and oh, yeah, I feel sophisticated. Really? Lovely! <laughs> look at you! Um, we're in Arundel now. We've just um, we've got a few pictures, a few different outfits done. But it just started trick. Well, not raining, but it was like a bit grey, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> Um, it, yeah, it just it went a little bit grey when we got here, so we're kind of like sheltering in the car and then jumping out to do a quick photo when, when the uh, when the sun comes out. Um, so yeah, not ideal, but we've got a few good pictures. Fun. Yeah, yeah well, good fun. Nice chat, aren't we? Well, good fun. <laughs> <laughs> She's not having fun. <laughs> we're cold. Um, no, we've only we've sort of we've been here for half an hour. I think we've got about four outfits done already, so it's not too bad. We're just being really quick, basically. Um, so I've just yeah popped on this blazer with roll neck and these big earrings just to change things up a bit, and then waiting for a little bit of sun because it's really grey at the moment. I lose my breath whenever I see you. That you do My life was great Till you added colours like um, So I've got what you're doing. my final outfit on And then we're going to go back home Because it's getting so cold uh, But yeah, this is the final look This coat is from ASOS And um, not my usual Colour choice, but I actually really like it It's your favourite, this one as well, isn't oh, it? I think that looks wonderful um, so yeah, we're just going to find somewhere simple to photograph this one, and then we're done. About the others. You said my world so I'm back home now, and I've just come into the bedroom to put some of the clothes away that I was photographing, because if I don't do it now, then they'll sit in a pile by the door for about a week, knowing me. Um, but I'm also just having a quick look through some of the pictures that I got, and... Some of them are all right, but to be honest, it wasn't really the most successful day. The weather was just against us, and I wanted to get some good pictures for my blog, but I don't think that I'm going to be able to use any of these, just because they all look a little bit, I don't know, just a bit dull. Um, so I might go out at the weekend and try and get some photographs for my blog, because I want to get that live as soon as possible. As I mentioned before, I am using Squarespace to create my website, and I'm really starting to get to grips now with how it works. Um, there's so many different templates and there's also so many different things that you can add on as well. Like I found it really easy to link all my social media channels so that when I add a new YouTube video or a new Instagram post, it automatically updates onto the website, which is really good. If you are also thinking about starting a website, then I do have a discount code. Um, if you go to www.squarespace.com forward slash model mouth, um, and then use the discount code MODELMOUTH for 10% off a website or domain. Um, but I will leave all of that information in the description box below. Um, but I am going to finish putting these clothes away and then I'm going to go and start cooking some dinner. 
and just go and chill out. And I will probably chat to you again now in the morning. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. You're gonna be alright sitting there, the twiddling key. around in the background. No, not at all. As long as you're happy being sat there in the background. <laughs> Good morning. It's Thursday, and we had an early start this morning. We had two MOTs booked. My car and Lou's van both need an MOT. Although we thought, well. Basically, my car needed work doing on it, so he ended up cancelling Lou's MOT to do the work on my car. But anyway, we were there, we had to drop the cars off at 7.30 this morning, so nice little early start for us. Sorry if there's a bit of background noise, by the way, the dishwasher's on, so I don't know, that might be a bit annoying. Um, but anyway, we, yeah, we just got back, had some brunch, and I thought I would go through a few of the bits that arrived yesterday, um, just because, yeah, like I said, there was a few packages that came yesterday, so I thought I would show you. Lou's tinkering around in the background, so if you see a bit of movement, he's, um, what, is, what are you doing? What's that sound? Oh, just cleaning up a bit of paint. Basically, he's finishing off our main bathroom. It's been one of those jobs that we've, it's been half done for the past few months. Um, and then he, yeah, you've been trying to finish it off, haven't you, to get, to get another room complete. We're trying to tick off rooms and get them completely done rather than doing bits and bobs here and there. So that was the next room that Lou was focusing on, trying to get it complete. Um, but it looks really nice. I'm going to show you. I don't know if I'm, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to do it in like its own video and just sort of show you the different bits and the stages and where everything's from. I might just do a, like a bathroom video or is that a bit boring? Anyway, let me know if you'd like to see something like that. Um, but, yeah, what was I going to say? Um, but yeah, like I said, I ordered a few bits from ASOS that have arrived. These boots I actually ordered last week, but I wanted to show you them anyway, just to um, just because I love them. Um, although I haven't worn them yet. Um, but they are a pair of chunky Doc Martens. And I ended up ordering these because I wear my chunky black boots so much literally they're just my go-to pair of boots every single day and i thought why not go for a proper pair um so yeah these are the ones i went for i went for the chunky sole just because i thought they were a nicer shape than the flat ones i thought the flat ones looked a little bit of a weird shape um but i do need to try these on with some different outfits and make sure that i like the way they look before before i obviously keep them um but yeah they were the first thing that i ordered that i thought i'd quickly show you and then yesterday I ordered a few more bits from ASOS. I ordered, um, well, first of all, this is a very summery one, summery spring one, but I feel like this style of dress on ASOS sells out so, so quickly. So um, when I saw it there and I loved it, I thought I would order it now and try it because I know that as soon as the sun comes out, this will sell out. Um, so yeah, this is the little dress that I ordered. And I think, well, hopefully we're going to be going away next month or the month after. March or April, we're hopefully going to go away. So hopefully this will come into use then. But how cute is that? It's just a lovely little white long-sleeved broidery on glaze dress. It's like that gorgeous, gorgeous sort of holy fabric, all ruffled. And yeah, just really like it. I just thought it was so pretty. And I also thought it might look quite cool with the Doc Martens and like a black leather jacket styled like that. Um, so I will probably try that on over on my Instagram and maybe put it up on my stories or something. So head over there if you want to see how that looks on. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing I ordered from ASOS. And then, whoa. <laughs> oh dear. I've literally like bundled the bits up here so I can show you. Um, and then I also ordered another dress, which again is a lot more spring summer but I just thought this was so beautiful and would be amazing for a spring summer wedding um even like an autumn winter wedding I feel like this would be gorgeous for but look how stunning is this dress um so it's kind of like got 
the big puffy sleeves and then it's really low back and it's got the crossover bit. Um, I might try and try this on in a minute and show you how it looks on just because I feel like you need to see this style of dress on. Well, I need to see it on as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought it was so gorgeous. It's like a midi length and then it kicks out at the bottom. I love the print of it. Um, yeah, just thought it was stunning. And it's the sort of dress I thought, see it, order it and then put it away so that when you've got a special event, you've got something good. Well, I've got something good to wear. So that was the next thing I ordered. Then I ordered a little black cap, which I actually wore this morning to um, my MOT appointment. Um, and I said to Lou, should I leave the sticker on or take it off? And he said I should leave it on. But then I thought, I looked a little bit like I was trying to be cool by leaving it on. But do you leave it on? Do you take it off? Let me know. Um, what else did I order? Oh, these shoes. Um, the, oh, 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 trainers. These are very similar to my pretty little thing ones that I wear loads. And I thought these might be a really good alternative um, because they are getting a little bit wrecked, the pretty little thing ones. I wear them so much. Um, so they're just a really simple white trainer with a little black bit at the back. Um, although I ordered those in a size four and they look quite small for a four. I'm a four and a half, so annoyingly. Um, but they're really nice, aren't they? Just a really simple dupe of the Alexander McQueen ones. And yeah, they just go with so many outfits. They're so easy and they're a really good price as well. I will leave everything below if you do want to check out any of the pieces, then they will all be in the description box. Um, and that, oh no, there was one other pair of shoes. And these I ordered because if you saw my workwear video, um, I had some black mules on in that video. I started them up with loads of different outfits and they're just a really nice shoe. And I thought I would order the nude version for the summer, well, spring, summer. I thought they'd look gorgeous with jeans. Even like with an outfit I've got on today, like a cardigan, jeans, and then these, and maybe a blazer over the top, they'd look really nice. And again, they were really reasonable as well. They're not real leather, um, but yeah, I thought they were really nice. Lovely little colour as well. Um, so yeah, that was everything I ordered from ASOS. And then I had a glossy box delivery arrive yesterday, which I think this is a limited edition, um, like a collaboration they've done with Elemis. Yeah, it is Elemis. Um, and I love Elemis skincare. Um, I'm not entirely sure on how much this is retail for, but I think that it's worth about 180 pounds, but then the box is only 50 pounds or 40 pounds for members. Don't count me on that. I'll leave, I'll leave the information below. Like I'll leave the link and the discount code if I've got one below. I don't know, I might not. Um, but anyway, this is what's inside the box. So you get a little sachet of the Pro Collagen eye masks. You get a little mini night cream. You get the papaya enzyme peel. Pro Collagen Marine Cream, um, oh no, Pro Collagen Marine Oil, Pro Collagen Marine Cream, and then this is a little mini cleansing balm, and this is divine. I bought my mum the big one of these for Christmas, and honestly, every time I see her, she says, oh, Charlotte, feel my face, feel my face. She says, when I go to school, I have to be, I have to try not to ask people to feel my face, because Oh, I just love it. She said, I almost asked one of the other teachers, I almost told one of the other teachers to smell my face. <laughs> so anyway, the, she loves it. Um, and I really, really, I've recommended this to so many people. It's just, it's just lovely. So if you're looking for a really good, I mean, it's, it's not cheap, but to try it out in this box is really good. So um, yeah, I'll leave all that information linked below. Um, what else did I get? Oh, the next package I actually opened because I didn't know what it was and we were expecting a delivery for the house, for the bathroom. Um, so I ended up opening it, but I will show you anyway. So it is some new releases from Fragrance Direct, three of their new perfumes. And the first one is Emporio Armani, In Love With You Freeze, which smells, I mean, I'm so rubbish at describing perfumes. It's <laughs> It smells. <laughs> it smells really like a Chanel perfume. I don't know if it's just the classic Chanel number no. five or, but it's, it, to me it smells really Chanel-esque. It's quite, I mean, I can't explain it, but it is really lovely. If you love Chanel perfumes, I feel like you would like this. Um, this is the next one. It's a YSL black opium one. And again, that's so nice. It's really kind of 
quite sweet but really strong. I wore this one yesterday when, when the package arrived and I ended up just put a couple of sprays on and it, yeah, I could smell it all evening. And even this morning I could still smell it in my hair. Um, and then the third one is Ralph Lauren Modern Romance. And this one smells quite sweet. I think out of the three, I'd say this is probably my favorite, then this, and then the Ralph Lauren one. But they are, yeah, they're all really nice, but this one is quite sweet. So if you don't, <laughs> yeah, if you don't like sweet fragrances, then you may not like that. Sorry, that was the worst description of fragrances ever. Um, oh, and the only other thing I ordered, which I also opened, because like I said, we were expecting a delivery, um, but it was some ankle weights. Um, only because I've started to get back into a little bit of fitness, <laughs> she says, a very little bit. <laughs> um, and I do these exercises where like, I kick my leg up to try and make my bum bigger. <laughs> um, like, you know, you're on all fours and you kick your legs up, your leg up in the air. And I thought that having ankle weights on might increase a little bit of muscle. Who knows? So these just go round your ankle, obviously. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and yeah, I can't get into the bloody things, can I? Oh, I don't know why I'm gonna show you anyway. I think I'm just intrigued what they look like myself and how heavy they are. Um, so yeah, this is what they look like and then they just wrap around your ankle and I mean, they're not the heaviest things I've ever felt. I don't know how much difference they're going to make, but I'll let you know. Um, so yeah, that was the, f oh, hang on. The other thing you're sitting on. So let me just move this. I used it as a um, prop up for the tripod because it was quite low. But the other box I received is from Neon. And um, let me just squidge it round. I absolutely love Neom diffusers and candles. They are my favorite. Um, and they have just sent me a little se selection. Dear Charlotte, enclosed some well-being goodies for a sprinkling of happy vibe and a moment of calm. Hope you enjoy. Um, so there is a Neom diffuser. Honestly, if you've never tried these, they just smell incredible. They're like natural ingredients. Um, 100% natural fragrances for the mind and body. This one is scent to make you happy. And then the candle is also scent to make you happy. This is one of my favorite scents. Oh, it smells so nice. Um, and then there is a pillow mist. This is scent to sleep. And then a luxury body butter scent to de-stress. Oh, lovely, honestly love neon so much so thank you very much um so yeah they are all the bits that arrived yesterday that i thought i would just show you i will try on those dresses before i finish the video just to show you how they look on um in fact i'll go and do it now okay so this is what the dress looks like on and it is gorgeous it's so pretty like the floral print is stunning and i think for a summer wedding it'd be amazing although it doesn't really work with my hair up like this in a top knot. In fact, let me just quickly try and take it down and just see if that <laughs> changes it, because it looks a bit weird. Oh, hang on. So yeah, obviously my hair needs a wash, but it does work better with my hair down. It looked a bit much with the little top knot. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really beautiful and would be amazing for like a summer wedding or a summer party or, yeah, it's just stunning, isn't it? Um, I am pretty sure I ordered it in a size six or an eight well it would have been a size six or an eight but I'll leave my size below um, and I love those big sleeves as well I just think they're so cool um, so yeah that's what the dress looks like on um, lovely and then I thought I'd just quickly show you what this white dress looks on while I was trying the other one on um, and yes yeah, so cute I really like it although um, I did tie these two bits at the bottom at the, si um, at the side together and I thought I'd be able to cinch it in a bit but you can't really unless you wrap them round maybe. I don't know, I think I need to play around with that. Um, but yeah, love the shape of it, love the length of it and I love how kind of poofy it is. And then I have just popped it on with the black Doc Martens just to, just because that's one way I would style it. Obviously you could still wear it with just sandals and keep it simple. Um, but I really like the way it works with these shoes as well and then obviously with a black leather jacket over the top um so yeah 
it's cute. In fact, I'll grab my leather jacket and just show you. Okay, so this is how it looks with a leather jacket over the top of it as well. Um, and yeah, I just think it's really cute and just sort of like feminine, masculine together. <laughs> Lou, what do you think of this outfit like this? What do you think of this outfit? The one I've got on. In here. Yeah. <laughs> do you I like it? I don't know quite know where you'd wear it. Just out shopping? It not yet, but obviously out for lunch, on holiday, the dress on its own. Yeah. I didn't think you'd like it. I don't dislike it. I don't I don't dislike it. The, I just it's just, you know, it's just Yeah. I'm not overly enthusiastic about anything, am I? No, you're not. Not overly enthusiastic at all. that my car is ready to be collected. Don't know what the damage is yet, um, but we're just heading up to pick it up now. Um, and then I am definitely going to be selling it because I've had this car for seven years, six years? Six years, I think, since I passed my test. It's basically my first car and I've still got it. And I am, um, yeah, we're just desperate for a proper nice car. We're just, I don't know why we're putting it off any longer really. I think. We need to go test driving and yeah, get a good car. Especially because, like yesterday when me and Mum went out to do some pictures, I was trying to change in the car into different outfits, and um, oh, it's just impossible in a little car. So yeah, that is the next that is next on the list to, to sort out, get a new car. Um, but yeah, the sun's come out. And I've got my hat back on with my little sticker on the top. <laughs> so I've just picked my car up and it came to 250 pounds and 3p. So not too bad. Apparently my rear shock absorbs had gone. He was like, "Have you not? Did you not hear like a bat, like a banging sound as you were driving? Like a?" And I said, "No, I, I, I didn't notice." He's like, "How could you not notice that?" And then, it, then as I was just driving a minute ago, I thought. Well, actually, I can't hear my parcel shelf bo bobbing around anymore, and that's what I thought it was. Like I could hear a um, a, t a t t t boom, 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 boom. <laughs> but I just thought it was my parcel shelf. Um, so yeah, so apparently that well, that wasn't my parcel shelf. That was the rear shock absorbers, and I think that's because me and Lou did lots of tip runs in my car it, um, when we're when we've been renovating the house because. He's not his van's not allowed in the tip because it's like a commercial vehicle. Um, so we did a lot of tip runs in my car and probably put a lot of weight in the boot and we've yeah, buggered it. Um, so yeah, 250 quid and my car's up and running again for the time being and I need to sort of zhuzh her up, get her up to scratch and sell her. She's served me well but she is no longer needed in my life. Uh, but yeah, I'm just driving home now and then my niece is coming round this evening. Sorry, you've gone all lopsided. Um, my niece is coming round this evening to have dinner and just have a chilled night here. Um, so yeah, that should be nice. Looking forward to that. I've just got back home. Um, if you can hear a noise in the background, by the way, Lou's just putting a towel rail up in the bathroom. Um, and I am just going to start cooking some dinner. I'm making a... Thai green curry, well kind of, kind of a Thai green curry. Lou's auntie gave me a recipe for this amazing curry, it's so good. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna make tonight. Um, but I thought I'd just jump on and finish off the video and say thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, like, and if you enjoy vlogs like this, then please give it a thumbs up and then I'll make sure I do it more often and I'll try and make it a weekly thing or at least a fortnightly thing. Um, so yeah, please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.